Since the beginning of time, humans have used tools to make their work easier. This, in essence, is the definition of technology. So what's different about this artificial intelligence revolution that everyone and their mom seems to be talking about? At the most basic level, AI refers to computers that can perform tasks normally reserved for human intelligence. A map that you can view online is technology. A map that suggests an optimal route depending on current traffic conditions is AI. What's special about the current moment comes back to data. Our ability to capture, store, and process enormous amounts of information has allowed machines to instantaneously convert information into actionable knowledge. For example, by accessing a huge data set of all the past Go moves, a computer is able to predict the best next move to take. There are two types of artificial intelligence. General artificial intelligence, which is a computer cognitively capable of doing anything a human can do. Think HAL from 2001 A Space Odyssey. And narrow artificial intelligence, a computer capable of doing what a human can do within certain bounds. Think AlphaGo, the AI from Alphabet that can beat a grandmaster at Go. In order to understand what's pure hype and what's worth paying attention to, I urge you to think about what is general and what is narrow AI. Narrow AI is already impacting your life. Google Maps uses artificial intelligence to shorten your commute. Your email inbox uses artificial intelligence to filter out spam. Alexa uses artificial intelligence to understand what you mean when you talk to her. The robocalypse that everyone is talking about has to do with the idea that narrow artificial intelligence will make workers who do certain tasks like making shoes or driving trucks redundant. This is already happening. Workers who have worked a certain way for their entire lives suddenly have an outdated skill set. How we respond as a society is probably the biggest economic concern of the 21st century. But back to our original question. Why does it matter that a computer can beat a grandmaster at Go? The answer is that it's a signal, a sign of the times. Not only can a computer play Go, which is largely understood to be one of the most strategically complex games in the world, as well as a human, it can play better than us. Pessimists see this as an existential threat. Optimists feel that the AI revolution will free up time to focus on higher level pursuits like spirituality or our relationships. But one thing is for certain, AI is fundamentally changing the nature of how we work. Whether that inspires hope or fear is ultimately up to you to decide.